Hello folks, I will show how to add PS3 games to emulation station in this video. To make the PS3 games show up in the emulation station is a little bit tricky. That's why we have this video here today. But if you guys want to see the full emulation station tutorial, please leave a comment below. By the way, if you are not familiar with Emulation Station, Emulation Station is a great software that allows us to access all your favorite games in one place. If you want your emulation game to look more organized and clean on your Steam Deck, the Emulation Station is a must in this case. Before we start this process, first make sure you already have Emulation Station installed on your Steam Deck from EmuDeck. Also, the emulation station should be turned on under the ROM manager parsers. Of course, you need to make sure the PS3 emulator and games are working on your Steam Deck. If you need to install PS3 games on your Steam Deck, I have an ultimate guide for PS3 emulation on my channel. Please check it out. I am assuming your Steam Deck has already satisfied all the previous requirements I mentioned. Now let's make it work. First, go to the start menu from desktop mode, then all applications, then looking for RPCS3 PS emulator, and click to open the emulator. From here, you should be able to see all your PS3 emulation games that have been installed on your Steam Deck. Pick any game that you would like to add to emulation station. Then click the L2 button on your Steam Deck and select Create Shortcut. Then click Create Desktop Shortcut. It will see successfully created shortcuts. Then click OK. Then we can close the emulator software. Now we will see the game shortcut we just created on the desktop. Select the shortcut and press the L2 button on your Steam Deck. Then click on Property. Next, click on Application tab. Click Browser on the program line. From here, move your mouse cursor to the top right corner and click the Option button. Then check the box in front of Show Hidden Files. Now we should see all hidden files show up here. Then click Go Up button from the top right corner. From here, make sure you navigate to the exact same location as I show on the screen. At the end, you should select the file net.rpcs3.rpcs3. Then click open button at the bottom right corner. Then we need to press the Steam button and X button together to call out the keyboard. Or you can use the physical keyboard if you like. We need to delete two percentage symbols on the arguments line. Make sure everything else is unchanged only delete one percentage symbol on each end. Make sure everything else is unchanged. Then we can click OK button. To test if the modification we just did is correct or not, we can simply double click on the shortcut to run the game. If the game boots up, that means the shortcut is in working condition. If you got this error message, just reboot your Steam Deck and it will resolve the problem. Of course, if you think the change you just did on the shortcut is correct, then we don't have to do the test. The test is just for verification. Now my Steam Deck is back to desktop mode. I double click the shortcut on the desktop, we should boot up the game. This means the shortcut we just modified is legit. We can press select and start buttons together to exit the full screen mode and then close the game. So by now we have verified this shortcut is working. All we need to do next is to move this shortcut into the PS3 ROM folder. So basically you will have all your PS3 ROMs and game shortcuts in the same folder. 
we need to repeat the same process for each game in order to have them show up in the emulation station. I will quickly repeat the process here for all my PS3 emulation games. I only have 3 games here in total, so it wouldn't take so long. If you have a lot of PS3 games that you want to move to the emulation station, then it might take you an hour to do all of them. By the way, I will show the Steam Deck case that I am using right now at the end of this video. If you are interested, please stay to the end of this video. Now I have all my game shortcuts created and moved to the ROM folder. Next, I will return to the gaming mode. Now let's open up the emulation station. We will see the PlayStation album show up here. And all three games should show up in the emulation station now. I can just press button A to start up the game from here. Here you go guys, we can now launch all PS3 games from the emulation station. I have tested all three games. They all work perfectly with emulation station. You can now delete PS3 games from your Steam library if you want to make your library look more organized and clean. That's pretty much all for how to add PS3 games to emulation station. This is the Steam Deck case that I have been using for almost 2 weeks. And it is from Mamba. I love most parts of this case. The overall build quality is pretty awesome. It feels very comfortable to hold the deck with this case. Even if it adds a little bit of weight. I think it is because the soft rubber on this case that offers a soft contact between our hands and the deck. It has a transparent kickstand on the back. All the cutout and openings are very precise. The volume button and the power button are very responsive on this case. I never had any issues with the button on this case. The only thing I don't like is the kickstand. It only offers one angle setup. The kickstand can only be fully closed or fully open. That's all for this video. If you like my work, please subscribe to the channel and thanks for being here.